Hello guys, you're watching Cursor Run, your technology channel with your host Rahul Sharma. Today we are going to learn how can you run your test code while you're learning X++ because I understand when you're learning a new language, you need a platform or you need an editor or you need somewhere where you can write your test code and you can see how it performs, right? So let's go right into Visual Studio. So we are in Visual Studio. This is your Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation Development Box. So once you're in Development Box, open Visual Studio. If you haven't already, go to Menu and make sure you are running it as uh, Administrator. So open it as Run as Administrator. Once you are in, you can start working in your existing solution or project, or you can create a new project. To create a new Visual Studio project to code in X++, you can click on File, New, uh, File, New, Project. And you can search for the template called Finance Operations. Select Finance and Operations, click Next. And you can name your project and solution and click Create. I, have, I already have it, so I am not going to create it again, okay? So, Go back to your solution. Once you have your solution or project created, right click, right click uh, on your project, click add. You can create a class from scratch or you can use one of the template available. That's under Dynamic 365 items, code, and runnable class or job, right? Let's name this thing as test job because we are going to use this class to just test our code, whatever we are learning with X++, the language itself, we are going to write some code here. So test job, add, it will create a new class. If you see, let me hide, this is our application explorer, if you haven't seen already, but let me just hide it for a second. So if you see here, it created a new class called test job, and this is the class that we are talking about, class test job. We haven't we haven't yet uh, seen how to create you know uh, new classes and all. What is class? For that we have another session, and I will put the link somewhere in the description box. Um, so uh, this is our class test job, and it contains a special method called main with some arguments. So this is the entry point for the system, right? Uh, so whenever you run this class this will this particular method main method will be the entry point for for the for the system right you don't have to tell system okay we, how to run a method or which method it should pick first so by default the framework knows if there is a special method with the name main which returns nothing void and is of type static public and takes args args and we'll discuss this args args at some point. This is just a class taking some parameter, taking uh, some values if you want to pass it from somewhere else to this main method. But for now, um, let's say we just learned how to print a hello world message to the screen, right? So how do you do it in X++? I do info. This is info, ma uh, info method and you can see the in IntelliSense as soon as we write info and you uh, open the bracket, you will see the syntax, whatever is needed. So in this case, it says, just puts anything um, related to a string and it will print on the screen. And rest are the optional parameters. Optional parameters are denoted with by, uh, denoted by uh, square brackets, right? So for now, we will say hello world, bracket bun, each statement in X++ ends with semicolon. So this is a simple code uh, that we just written, but how do we test it, right? So first thing, you can compile it. We can say build. It's building, how do you know once the build is done, it will uh, say build is completed here, and this start will, a button will be enabled again. So it is enabled, so that means build is done. What there are two there are two options to run this sample code, right? One is you can set your newly added, newly created runnable job or runnable class. Why we are calling it a runnable class? Because it has this particular method main, which is an entry point to the system, right? And read this whatever the system has put up here, right? Uh, 
So if we, well, how can we run it? From the Visual Studio itself, if you want to run it, run when you click on this start button for this particular solution, you can say set as startup object. So now this object, this particular class will be executed as a startup object whenever we execute this particular project or solution. So let's first see this. As soon as I click, it will compile and will try to run it. It might take a few seconds, but let's do it. Compiling. And guys, in the meanwhile, if you are still here and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and like the channel. This motivates me, right? Though I'm slow in putting up the videos, but keep pushing subscribe and like button so, so that I can do more and more videos for you. So let's see if it is compiled, if there are any errors, so it will show you errors here, but there shouldn't be any error. We just need to give it some time. And it depends on your system as well, the, uh, the dev box you are using, right? Uh, go back to my earlier videos if you don't know how to go to the dev box or how to create a development environment, etc. I'm In these days, I'm just trying to run the whole uh, series on X++ development, everything technical with D365 finance and operations. So let's see and I'm doing it whenever I get some time. Come on. Guys, that it is taking a bit, a bit time because my dab box is a bit slow. But let's give it its share of time. So it looks like it's going to pull up the browser. Guys, if you are having any issues with your development environment or any of these tabs, do ask in the comment box and I'll try my best to reply. So now the browser is opened. That means because Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation is a web-based application, so browser is open. It is running this class test job and it should any anytime it should show us hello world here. Okay, so the code is executed. It shows us here, hello world. And if you remember, that's what we wrote here, right? So um, this is one way of doing it. So if you see closely the URL itself, so this is our uh, finance and operations URL. This is the menu item it is running. Uh, MI equals to the menu item name is, MI means menu item. Menu item name is sys class runner. The company or legal entity is running in is USMF and all other things are just, you can ignore this partition and all. There used to be some, uh, you know, uh, relevance to the partition, but now you can ignore it. And the class it is running is CLS means class. It is running is test job. So three, variab three variables or pa uh, URL parameters, right? Um, arguments, MI, menu item, CMP, legal entity, and the class itself. So I have it in my uh, notepad as well. You can replace this selected part with your dive box and the rest of the things will remain as is. So uh, menu item will always be for the runnable class, uh, runnable job we are writing, right? It will be sys class runner, whatever company you want to run your code in and your class name, okay? So we can directly run it in the browser as well. So so for example, we can stop everything. We can go back here. We can stop. We can stop uh, the debugger and all that stuff. We can go back to the browser, copy paste the URL here, and it will execute the hello world. First time it takes time, but you know, subsequently if you run this particular class, whatever you have written, it will execute a bit faster. So let's change a little bit in the code, make a change. So for example, instead of just saying hello world, we want to say hello Rahul, right? So what I can say is I can declare a variable and if you want to know how to declare a variable and with the data types and all, you can go back and see the sessions we have created on X++ development. So um, I'm just declaring a variable 
of type string that contains, and I'm assigning it a variable, a, a value as well. Let's say assign it my name, Rahul. Now what we want to do is we want to concatenate. There are other ways as well, but I want to concatenate this hello world, uh, the hello world with the my name, whatever we have in the my name variable. So for example, I have hello space and my name Rahul, right? So let's now save it. This time I'm not going to press and run it from here. I want to directly show you from the browser, but because we just made a code change, we need to compile or build our solution. So just hit build, right click on your solution or project. And again, just wait for a few seconds. Once it is done, this button will be enabled. So it is done, it, it is quick now. Now if, if you can go back and as soon as I refresh it, it will try to call this menu item with these two parameters, like in it will run my code in this legal entity and which class it's going to execute, the class we just created, test job. So hit refresh and here instead of hello world, it will say hello Rahul. So now you can see that the execution is complete and you can see hello Rahul here. So this is how you can run or test your code while you are running X++. So guys, that's a, uh, that was a short video on runnable class or runnable jobs, how to use it, how to write these kind of jobs, how can you can test your things and all, right? So that's it for today. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and like the channel. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.